Hello, friends, and welcome to another edition of the Cox Sports Report, presenting highlights of high school basketball action from all over Virginia to you with my partner, Chris Park. I am Matthew Hatfield, and Chris, we dive right into it with a big first place showdown in Chesapeake as the Oscar Smith Tigers play host to the Bethel Bruins. Monitor Merrimack Conference first place on the line. Bethel won the first meeting. Can the Tigers get revenge at home? Yeah, and a pretty important game, Matt. And for uh, Oscar Smith, the Tigers have been, been led all year by their uh, outstanding backcourt led by Nigel Rivario. And Nigel coming from Western Branch, one of the top scores in the Hampton Roads area for the second year in a row. Bethel much improved after only seven wins a season. You're going to see early on it is Oscar Smith with Byron Nelson, the layup. Bethel coming back with its guard play, led by Justin Ned and Cam Bacot. Bacot, the sophomore and younger brother of ODU star Aaron Bacot, knocking down the jump. Yeah, great but bloodlines for the Bethel star. And Oscar Smith, not to be outdone, gets a three from their own as Rebario hits from long range. And Nigel, you see off the bounce, he is tough to handle. Got the quickness and the shot making ability. And then Byron Nelson hitting another jumper for the Tigers as Oscar Smith's offense coming into this matchup averaging over 98 points per game on the week. So their offense has been scorching hot. Yeah, great time to get hot going into postseason play as Bethel back the other way scores again. And again, the Bruins will go inside out and setting up the long range jumper for Baco. Bacot has had to touch all year long, trying to get that automatic regional berth for Coach Craig Breon, a program at Bethel that has been used to winning before making the state tournament a few years back. And you see Ribeiro getting the pick right here. He will pull up from long distance and cash it. And not exactly how you drop the offense with Ribeiro just holding the basketball for 15 seconds, but he gets the long range three to go. And now a defensive play by the Bruins leads to easy offense and the layup for two for Bethel. One of the Owusu brothers, Jeremiah, with that layup there. Now Bethel trying to trap Nigel in the corner they get a steal it'll be Cam Bako with the run out off the glass for two and the Bruins down by double figures starting to come back. Yeah you can't put these guys away not with a dynamic player like Bako but the defense gets a little lax there and allows Des Devane to get the easy layup. One of those perimeter options to go with Ribeiro, Donald Hicks, Des Devane stepping up from long distance. Now the Tigers swing the ball around the perimeter, trying to get a good look from outside. And this time instead they will go inside for the elbow jumper that'll be good. Yeah, it looked like they were passing up a couple of shots there, but they do wind up with the shot to go in for the Tigers. And now Ribeiro again, the lead ball handler, but he's going to have his pocket pick. Going back the other way with it is Justin Ned with the fundamentally sound left hand layup. One of the key defenders for Coach Breon also getting it done on the offensive end with a couple of hoops. And the Bruins again chipping into that Oscar Smith lead on the road trying to knock off this hot Tigers team. And we'll see the Tigers again being methodical with the basketball on offense. Working around Rabario and he'll try a long range jumper and he gets it to go. And that as a defender is just demoralizing when you play great defense. And the guy still hits a shot in your face. Jumpers falling all night long for Nigel. He's on his way to another 30 plus point performance. Try it again from deep. It is money. He's got the hot hand. Get the fire extinguisher to cool that young man off. <laughs> Indeed, Matt. And Bethel, not to be outdone, they're going to need a spark offensively. And it's going to be a couple of players in Ned and Baco going to the basket. The shot's off the mark. And the Tigers back the other way with no numbers, but looking to push. Anyway, as we've seen them all year long, the offense always looking for an opportunity to score and from long range, way off the mark, but the Tigers get the loose ball and the easy put back for two. And the more production they get out of Wilford Long and Isaiah Chambers, the freshman inside, that'll help out that perimeter trio that LeVar Griffin has. And again, Oscar Smith going to the 10, Donald Hicks with the hoop and the harm as the Tigers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter. And the Bruins just not able to keep up with the high powered offense as you see the jump ball and both teams still being aggressive going after the basketball in the later stages of the game. The Bruins though are going to run out of chances here as the shot's off the mark. Ned comes up with a loose ball and it's well off the mark. And the Bruins go down in this one as the Oscar Smith Tigers take the victory in impressive fashion. 81 to 74 over Bethel. Nigel Ribeiro, 33 points and 11 dimes to lead the Tigers. Cam Baycoat, a team high 26 points for the Bruins. 